Hey again everyone, thanks for joining us here at Marine Max Coco. My name's Chris and we're going to be walking through a brand new pontoon boat that we just had arrive. This is Harris's 230 Cruiser, very popular boat here for our intercoastal cruising market and uh, we're going to show you kind of how we laid this boat out. So again, this is a 23 foot pontoon boat. As you can see, this does have three tunes. So the performance level two package gives us our full length center tune here. Gives us more buoyancy in the water and a little bit more lift for doing some more of our water sport activities. It also has a full underskin kit there to reduce some of the drag as we make our way through the water. The fencing on this boat was done in midnight blue with a silver accent, so it just gives it an extra little color pop. Flip up cleats all the way around the sides of the boat. And we did do fence mounted docking lights when we do come in maybe after an afternoon cruise to give us a little bit more light to either get into the dock or to get back onto the trailer. Navigation lights also mounted on the fence, so we're not worried about tripping on our toes on those. Very traditional look here in the cruiser with the, uh, the silver fencing, just gives it a classic look. And the cruiser is our entry level model, so a great value price boat to uh, maybe be your first boat to get you out on the water. So make your way down the side here. You'll see on the aft end of the boat, I do have my stainless steel safety railing, which is nice that it comes with a chain. So if I am on the back of the boat here, uh, as we're underway, this chain does have to be in place to uh, make it safe for riders to be on the back of the boat. So a nice option here. And just wanted to quickly note too, on all four corners of the fencing, I do have these fender clips here, which is a quick release system. So I don't have to worry about trying to get down and tie it off of my cleat. I can have a quick release bracket here to be able to quickly snap my fenders on and off. Another quick note is this reboarding ladder. This is a great option from Harris, giving us an extremely heavy duty reboarding ladder when we are getting in uh, with maybe wet clothes. It just gets us a little bit more secure. I've got a big two-step top rung and it is a four-step telescoping ladder for easy reboarding and then here on the back of my tunes being that we are in a saltwater market these are your zincs making this the saltwater package to give us a fail safe for uh, any salt eating away at our tunes here this 23 foot tri-tune is powered with mercury's 200 horsepower four stroke outboard this is where we go to a digital throttle setup versus the mechanical so plenty of power to be able to tow people here from our heavy duty ski tow bar. I can also mount fishing rod holders here if you wanted to do some fishing, but just wanted to note the great power package that we have on this boat. So go ahead and come inside and we'll show you the features here on the inside of the boat. So this 230 Cruiser was done in our beach tan with the upgraded upholstery package, which gives me my two-tone color scheme that you do see here. This is a soft touch material that does reduce some of the heat for those hotter days on the summer. So it's a cool touch fabric, very soft yet still very durable. We do have three ways into the boat. We have three different doors. And wanted to note here with Harris is I do have a full length door stop with a padded damper here to reduce any vibration that we might have when we are underway. But a full length door stop here to secure the door nicely in place. And it's a very large door for if I am bringing gear or something onto the boat, I'm not getting caught on the sides of the seat here. Mirrored couches on both sides with storage underneath all four compartments. Stainless steel cup holders, as well as USB charging ports there on opposing sides. But just great detail in the fabric work here. You can see the contrast stitching. And again, just a very soft material, really wide, deep loungers here. So if we do have uh, taller guests, it's a nice big, place to relax which is really nice and the flooring color to match in this desert tan speakers underneath both of my front lounges as well as storage here underneath my console so an extra storage compartment there opposing my port side door here I do have an additional storage compartment so if I wanted to keep something tucked out of the way it's a great place to be able to do that there Harris also will always include a stowable trash can to keep all of your trash for the day neatly and out of the way so we don't have to bring on any kind of trash bag and then that snaps nicely in place there nice wraparound l-shaped bench seat here with our most popular floor plan the sl floor plan which gives me a multi-position backrest here lays down into a full-length bed i have an aft facing lounge as well as a forward facing lounge 
storage underneath both sides of this compartment. It is shared storage all the way through. This cushion here is removable. This gives me access to my battery switch as well as my batteries there. That is a dual battery selector switch. And then here at the helm, full control station here, I have a very comfortable flip down armrest helm seat, Clarion Bluetooth stereo, a little non-skid pad here to be able to toss my phone, 12 volt receptacle, USB plug, two cup holders here for the driver, analog gauges, and all of my controls, including my master power switch to turn on all of my electronics gear. And again, being that I have the 200, this is my digital throttle and shift, making shifting out of gear extremely simple and easy and uh, almost like your car would be, so it is a fly-by-wire system. Full 12-foot bimini here gives me a tremendous amount of shade, and it is done in the blue color to match my fencing panels. So just a nice kind of tie there, especially for your hot days during the summer to have that extra canopy. Work our way into the aft end of the boat here. And as I make my way through my door here, I just wanted to show the hardware that Harris uses in this lounger. No plastic, it's a nice sturdy piece of equipment there, so you don't got to worry about the backrest buckling in on you. We'll come our way around here to the aft end. And again, like I said, this is shared storage here. This is where all my fenders will be stowed at. That's my owner's pack in there. Black acrylic table, which can be mounted either in the, the bow of the boat or here in front of my lounger. And then, of course, the built-in cooler in the SL floor plan. So a great place to keep all your drinks nicely tucked away. Three additional cup holders here on the side, USB plugs as well. So I've got a total of five cup holders here on the back of the boat. So everyone's got a place to keep their drinks. And again, just all stainless steel railing around the side, keeping everybody safe and secure here on the aft end of the boat. So just a greatly equipped 230 cruiser here from Harris. Um, again, my name is Chris here at Marie Max and Coco. Thanks for joining us on this walkthrough video. If you'd like to come by and see the boat, our phone number here is 321-636-3142. Thanks.